Recently, the city of Beatrice was the victim of a cyber crime. Hackers got into computers and seized control of the city's phone and internet service. That affected vital departments like police and fire. The FBI is now sounding the alarm about this growing type of crime. It's a four-pronged attack, but it only requires the victim to do one thing. FBI Special Agent in Charge Randy Thicey walks me through a flowchart of something that sounds pretty menacing, and it definitely could happen to all of us on our computers. It's a crime that costs a lot of money to undo or reverse. Ransomware. Ransomware is a piece of virus or malware that can get on your computer, and it will look for your data files and it will encrypt your data files so you cannot have access to them. Here's how it works. Cyber thieves send you an email known as spam with an attachment. When you open it, you've launched the virus and certain data that you have stored or saved is compromised. And then once they're encrypted, they're unreadable by your computer to open up a letter. It'll open it up, but it'll be just a like a, a jumbled mess. You then receive a message, a countdown, which tells you how much time you have to pay the computer crooks or your files will be permanently gone. Kaput. It's right in there, it says you have 96 hours to submit your payment okay. and it has a, has, a, has a countdown clock. The most popular is something called Crypto Locker. The ransom is payment to get a private key. That's a fancy term for a bunch of numbers and a password the thieves will send you to get your data back. You're at their mercy. And this is the financial web a victim gets caught in when making a payment. In the example the FBI showed us, $300 for the password for access to your files. The network that the money travels on that makes it near impossible to trace. There are two specific ways you can protect your files on your computer. Number one, make sure you have aggressive anti-malware software installed on your computer. Number two, always back up your files. So if you become a victim of ransomware, you can let the clock expire and you still have all your valuable information. Today, the FBI held a seminar on the UNO campus, teaming up with the Greater Omaha Chamber of Commerce to alert businesses on how to protect their computers from cyber thieves.